It's calm and dark now, but on Monday, it was lit up with police lights in front of this house where a child who doesn't even live there was shot when nine kids were home alone. Someone was playing with a gun and he got green. He was shot? Yes. The dispatcher asks the caller, who identifies himself as the victim's brother, if the victim is breathing. He's okay. He just, he just, he, um, he just bleeding. He got grazed. He's nothing major. He just need um, ambulance. Please. Then she asks. How old is he? He's um, 11. 11? The dispatcher sounds surprised. And when I went door to door around the neighborhood <laughs> and shared that police said the shooting happened when a 12-year-old boy brought two guns to the home to sell to other boys, they couldn't understand how a child was able to get their hands on the weapons or be alone with them. The moral of the story is here, kids and guns, a dangerous combination. A combo that has been on the rise recently in Florida. Stats from Everytown Research and Policy, an organization aimed at reducing gun violence, shows so far this year there have been 19 unintentional shootings from children resulting in eight deaths. Across the country, there have been 200 accidental child-related shootings with 74 deaths and 128 injuries, which now includes the 11-year-old shot on Division Avenue. He was grazed on his leg? Yes, like his knee. On his knee. Now, I did speak briefly with the stepfather who lives here, but he did not want to go on record. And police told me at this time, only the 12 year old who brought weapons over has been charged. No adults have been charged with anything yet. In West Palm Beach, Kayla McDermott, WPTV News.